guys. Uh, this is DFS Chan. I'm here to talk about um, today's uh, March 25th um, LCS LOL slate. Um, for some reason, DraftKings um, decided that LCS is the only deserving classic slate to create. I've, I've actually tweeted, if you follow me on Twitter, I've actually tweeted to DK customer service to ask them to create some classic slates for the LPL and LCK and LEC, but they said no. So I'm a little bummed about that, but really the only classic slate we have today is the LCS slate. I'm sure we're, we're gonna have another classic slate tomorrow and on Sunday. It's a super week um, for the LCS for the last week of LCS. So it's very exciting. So yeah, let's dive in. And each slate is gonna be five matchups. Um, as you guys know, LCS has 10 teams in the, in the league. Um, so yeah, let's dive in and to kind of see um, where we stand in terms of odds. So I'm gonna, I usually use Bovada to kind of gauge as to what, what the Vegas sports books think. Um, and then it, it, it really doesn't sway me as to, you know, uh, what my prediction should be, but let's just take a look at it real quick, just for reference purposes. And I think it's a good leverage uh, to look at it. Obviously, look at the odds for leverage purposes, the ownership purposes. So I think it's great either way. So today we have a game at 5.30, starting at 5.30 Eastern time. Um, Team Liquid is a huge favorite against Golden Guardians, which, is, which they should be. Uh, Team Liquid has been one of the best teams in, in, the, in the LCS so far. They're currently in the second place. Um, they're looking to solidify their place in the second place um, or the first place, um, depending on how Cloud9 does and his and their respective games. But they do have 100 Thieves coming right behind them and then maybe FlyQuest, but I think it's gonna be a three-headed race at the top of the standings. Um, but I think it's critical because, um, I mean, for seeding purposes, really like the first place gets, the, um, you know, gets a lot of, leeway as to who they play and who they want to face I think so I mean here if you see the playoffs the winner's bracket seed number one so it's going to play seed number four um, so yeah I think I do think seeding is very important because at the end of the day they play this and then whoever loses here uh, we'll get to play against the winner of the loser's bracket. So that's interesting. Because I think between two and three, if they lose, they go here and then they go here. Hmm. So yeah, I do think it's very important. So let's see who seed number one would play against number four. Because I, if I were true uh, Team Liquid, I would not want to play 100 Thieves. Um, so I would try to get to the first place to play FlyQuest. So I do think it's a very important game for them um, or three games <laughs> this whole weekend, but same for Cloud9 and 100Ds, right? So I do think they're gonna be on their A game. I know Team Liquid is on a one-game one, you know, one game losing streak, whereas 100Ds are coming up and Cloud9 has had a hot streak uh, <clears throat> earlier in the season as well. So I think that's very interesting. And, and Mortals are on a seven game losing streak. So. I'll mention TSM in their respective game as well. <clears throat> yeah, so Golden Guardians, Team Liquid in the second place, Golden Guardians in the fifth place, tied for the fifth place. They're trying very hard to climb up on the standings to make the playoffs because six teams make the playoffs, as, as I mentioned. Um, Golden Guardians is on the <clears throat> looking, uh, looking in from outside right now, so. I think Golden Guardians will be an interesting game for them too, because they, they're on a two game winning streak um, again. But I think Team Liquid is too much at the end of the day. I think Bjergsen <clears throat> has been playing really well. Um, and then Golden Guardians has <clears throat> both Blaze Olive, who has not been playing well in my opinion. So I think that's going to be a big mismatch. And really the biggest mismatch in my opinion is in my, in, in my opinion is in the top lane. I think Rogue Licorice, uh, Licorice uh, I think he's been all right. But in my opinion, he is not a, even a mediocre uh, top laner, in my opinion. So I think uh, Buipo is going to, you know, really take big advantage of him um, in the top lane. And even in the bottom lane, I, I, 
I think I have to favor Han Sama and Core JJ over Lost and Ole. So I do, I do think Team Liquid will win. And I'll, and I'll look at the uh, combined kills per minute and kill upside um, after this, uh, after going through each matchup. Um, I do think Bovada may have, yep, 24.5. So I'll make a note on that, of that um, here. So let's talk about Bruno. No, just kidding. Uh, all right, TL minus 350, Golden Guardians plus 240. I do think TL wins. Um, Boipo, Beard, and Han Sama, all better laners, respectively. Um, under, over, over under is at 24.5. And I'll look at the CKPM as well. Um, and then I think for, for a best of one series, I think it's better, especially in the LCS, better to look at the kill upside for the game and then kind of make your GPP decisions as well. But that's just me. I mean, I think every DFS tout is different, um, but that's just one way to go about it, especially for LCS. It has worked for me pretty well. So let's dive into that later. Um, and then the second matchup is EG, slight favorite over FlyQuest. EG has struggled a little bit. I mean, they're in the fifth place, just like Golden Guardians has mentioned. Um, EG has been so up and down. They've been probably been, been the most and in, most inconsistent team in the um, in the LCS. I mean, I think EG has shown high ceiling, but also a very low floor um, as to how they would like to play. Um, so anyway, so that's really that's. Um, Probably why um, EG is only a, a favorite only at minus 190. Um, so anyway. So yeah, minus 190. So I, I think that's fair. Just about how, how inconsistent EG has been. I think that's pretty, pretty fair and 23.5. So I thought this would be low. Um, let's see how FlyQuest has played more recently. This is Team Liquid and Golden Guardians. Um, Yeah, I think still I still think Team Liquid will win. And then EG versus FlyQuest. Like I said, they're they're close to each other in the standings. Um FlyQuest is actually um in the fourth place above EG. I do think EG is better, um, but FlyQuest is above them because Fly Fly has a better, like I said, has has had a more consistent uh season in the spring split. So EG has lost the hundred thieves. Okay, good team. Dignitas. All right, one against Dignitas and TSM, bad two two bad teams. Um, against TL, they lost. Against Cloud9, they lost. Yeah, so they've lost to bad teams. I mean, good teams. They've lost. Uh, they've won against good uh, bad teams. Sorry. Um, and then FlyQuest, they beat Team Liquid, which was very impressive in my opinion. Um, they lost to. I think that was a fluke in my opinion. I don't think FlyQuest. So yeah, I think I, th I like Evil Geniuses to win as well. Um, I do think the Tukui, the mid laner, yeah, I think he's he's pretty good. Um, I'm just a little concerned about the bottom lane and the top lane. Kumo has not been good. Johnson and Aphromoo has been all right. Uh, but Evil Geniuses, has, I mean, I think Jojo Pion's going to match up real well against the Kui. And then I prefer Danny and Vulcan over FlyQuest bottom duo. And then Impact has been probably one of the best top laners, in my opinion, this split. I know the numbers indicate, like, Summit has been really good and uh, Someday has, has been really good. But Impact has been probably one of the most consistent top laners, in my opinion, So, which I think EG kind of needs <laughs> for, a, for an inconsistent team like that. So... Um, I think EG is going to win. 
and tail upside on the lower side. All right, let's look at the next matchup. Um, is Dignitas versus Cloud9. Dignitas is, a, is an underdog plus 200 and Big Cloud9 is, an, is a favorite uh, at minus 275, um, which I get it. That's fair, I think. Um, Dignitas has been up and down. They've shown high ceiling too, though, at times, um, but 22.5, oh my goodness. That's really low. Um, I do want to see one more thing here. Cloud9 is in the first place. Like I said, they, they really need to win this. Um, and then, where is that? Fake God, River, Blue. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's a really a strong squad and they've lost two in a row. So let's see who they lost to so far. Um, they, lost to, they lost the last two games against Golden Guardians, who's mediocre. Evil Geniuses, who's mediocre. So I'm not impressed with Dignitas's uh, record. Um, Cloud9, like I said, have beat all the teams except they lost to DSM, which I, I do remember that. So I think Cloud9 is on the bounce back mode here. I would go all in on Cloud9 today, probably. Um, I think they really need to win this game for seeding purposes, like I said, with TL and 100 Thieves catching up to them. But it's going to be a low kill upside as well. So, but I'll look at the ZKPM after this. All right, the next matchup is. Um, Immortals versus CLG. Um, it's a toss-up game. Both shitty teams. I, I, uh, like I said, Immortals is on a skid. Um, they're they've been uh, they've been on a skid for the last seven games. So that's insane. So let's look at the match history for Immortals and CLG respectively. Um, L L L L L L L. They played against TSM and they lost against 100. So that's really concerning, TSM, I think. And then, although TSM has been playing slightly better, um, and then 100 Thieves, okay, good team. Dignitas, mediocre. Cloud9, good team. TL, good team. EG, mediocre. GG. Yeah, and then CLG has been bad as well. Um, they beat GG and then FlyQuest. So I think, let me look at the roster. Um, these are the two teams that I don't really watch that much because they're bad. Contracts and Palafox, all right. Power of Evil, Jersey, Jersey, and then, yeah, I think teams have figured out a way to um, ban against Power of Evil. He only plays, plays made champions. Uh, he doesn't really play any like 80 carry champions or 80 champions, in my opinion, or assassin champions. I mean, I guess he plays a mage assassin champions, but anyway, I digress. So I, I just feel like uh, that's, I'll have to look at one more thing before I make a prediction. I'm leaning CLG, as you can tell. But both teams are so bad. So I'm just going to check out one more thing. So I have, so I have some power rankings that I look at in a, in a close matchup like this. So CLG. Palafox is pretty bad. Immortals, Bar of Evil is pretty bad too. IMT, CLG. CLG Puma has been pretty good actually. has been pretty bad yeah i mean both shitty teams i think i think it comes down to the ban champion ban in my opinion um the 
depending on if I think CLG will do a good job banning champions against Power of Evil. Because in every single other lane too, though, I mean, it's like neck to neck. They're both really bad. Jenkins, uh, Jenkins and um, Revenge. I mean, I think Revenge is actually probably the best player in all 10 players uh, between these two teams. <laughs> That's how bad these two teams are. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to go, even though Immortals is on a 37 game losing streak, I think I'm going to have to go to Immortals as well. I just, I'm not feeling confident that CLG will do a good job banning against Far of Evil. And even if they do, I think Revenge will play really well against Jenkins. And then, um, I think Arrow having a few more games under his belt. Yeah. It's gonna be close, I think. I, I think I'm gonna go Immortals. Um, I think they'll bounce back today. Um, and, and the seven game losing streak. Let's look at the over under for this one. Twenty five point five. So this this probably will likely be the make or break game, I think. Um, but I'm willing to stick to my gun and go with Immortals uh, to win this matchup. So let's do that. All right, TSM versus 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves is at minus 325. TSM is at three, two, two, 235 as an underdog. Like I said, 100 Thieves really would need to win this. And then TSM like must win this if they want a chance to make the playoffs, right? Um, TSM has been playing much better lately for the last two games, but then they did play against some bad teams. So, uh, you know, I'm not <clears throat> that concerned about I'm not that impressed with TSM's wins. I do think TakeOver has been playing better. Um, I do think, uh, what's his name? Uh, Spika has been playing all right. And then I do think um, Huni is probably the best one, most consistent one on, the, on TSM. But at the end of the day, 100 Thieves has Someday. Um, they have Abidage. Um, they have FBI who've been playing well. So I, I think I'm just going to have to go with 100 Thieves and every single position and lane, I think 100 Thieves um, really should win this one. So yeah, I think 100 Thieves wins. They need to win for better seeding and have an advantage in every single lane. So, all right. And then I want to look at, like I said, the... Um, combined kills per minute metric um, to see how fast these teams have been playing. If it loads, there you go. So let's see. First TL and GG. So it looks like Dignitas has been playing the slowest amongst all the teams uh, by far throughout the entire split. But then let's look at how fast they've been playing the last patch or two. The last patch, Dignitas has been playing faster, so not much of a difference. FlyQuest has been playing slow. TSM has been playing really fast. So it has Immortals. TSM and Immortals and FlyQuest has been playing slow but they've been winning, so I don't blame them. So that kind of tells me EG and FlyQuest playing really slow lately as well. So I think um, kill upside very low here for between these two teams. And then Dignitas and Cloud9. Cloud9 has been playing fast, same as Immortals, like I said, even though they've been losing a lot. Uh, and TSM, so Immortals, TSM playing fast. Bump 
to this game to kill upside. Yeah, I think 100 Thieves will be an interesting one. Bump to this game to kill. And then Dignitas has been playing slow, like I said. Um, PLGG is about the same, 7.75. Cloud9 has been playing fast, but Vignatas has not been playing that fast. Yeah, so I, I do think these last two games, guys, are the games to target um, for cash and GPP, I suppose. Um, I do think 100 Thieves makes the best um, play, in my opinion, given all of that. So I will have a lot of 100 Thieves, but anyway. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I, I do think 100 Thieves will be very popular compared to let's say like other favorites. I know TL is, has the bigger, better odds, um, but Golden Guardians has been playing well and same for TSM, but I'm not, like I said, let's, uh, let's look at one more thing, uh, who TSM has played against, like I said, um, and see if I'm impressed with it. I think I already went over that maybe. They did play, they won against Immortals, who's been bad, and Cloud9, I think that was a trap game. So I'm not, I just feel like that's not, I'm not that impressed. Um, and that Cloud9 game is also after the whole Peter Jang scandal uh, news, I think. So anyway, for what it's worth, um, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions or just want to talk league, let me know. I'll be here on Discord and on Twitter. Um, but if you hit the like button uh, below, below the video, that would be great. If, if it would mean a lot to us, um, it would help us a lot. Um, so yeah, anyway, well, have a good one. Hope, hopefully DraftKings makes a lot of other classic slates in the future, in the near future. So anyway, see ya.